Rev up your engine! Well, if you want a 750 horsepower GM pickup truck, the 2021 Cyclone is being announced. It's called the GMC Cyclone, spelled rather strange, and it's made by a company called Specialty Vehicle Engineering, SVE. Now, they say they're only going to make 50 of these, so... <laughs> you better hurry up and order one because uh, I'm assuming they're going to go fast. There's certainly enough people that are going to want to buy that and they got to sell it to 50 people. It's got a blower on it that has air to water cooling so it's a very efficient blower. And since it's got all that horsepower, it's all wheel drive. If you put all that horsepower to the rear, it's just going to be spinning around, right? This is an all wheel drive system for somebody who really can handle the 750 horsepower because it's not going to be easy if you only have it to the rear and be spinning out all the time. So, it's a pretty well thought out design actually now it's based on a 2021 gmc canyon with the extended cab and the short bed this isn't a hauling truck this is a show-off race truck and like i say they're only gonna make about 50 of these things and they haven't yet announced the price i guess if you have to ask what the price is that you can't afford it but for you people in california if you buy one you can't drive it on the street because it's not going to be emissions legal for California, I guess there was too many specifications they have to do with all that horsepower and the supercharger in order to get it to work correctly that it's not legal for driving on the streets in California. So, ha ha, move here to Texas, you can buy one and drive it all around as fast as you want. <laughs> Christopher Luna, the big dealers are all a bunch of scammers doing what they can to make a buck. I'd buy a car from Scotty. Here's hoping he opens a dealership as soon as possible. Well, let me tell you, that's never going to happen. You've got about as much chance of me opening a car dealership as you would me running for president of the United States. Politics is also just as corrupt as they are. I have dealt with politicians on both sides, and I do have to say, pretty much equally, they're just as corrupt on both sides. Don't think one side's better than the other. They're politicians. Whatever way the wind blows, they bend. Maybe it's blown to the left one day, they bend to the left. It's blown right the next day, they bend to the right. I'm not going to be open to dealership anytime either. <laughs> I don't like getting into things that are crooked and dishonest, and so you'll never see me get into politics either. <laughs> I'd make it America for the middle class, which is what I am, which is the backbone of this country. And we get shafted all the time, so it's time for all Americans of middle class, regardless of creed, color, religion, whatever, as long as they're middle class Americans, I think we should take over. Master 88YT says, I'm thinking about buying a new pickup truck. What do you think? Ford F-150, Raptor, or Silverado? Out of those, I'd get the Raptor, but you want to get the Raptor with the V8 engine in it. You don't want that EcoBoost nonsense. Get one that has a V8 engine. I have customers with them, and they're very happy with them. I would not buy any GM modern day product. The quality control is just too low. And if you wanted a truck that's really going to last a long time, get a Toyota Tundra. You're going to pay more, but it's going to last longer than either of those. PM says, hello, Scotty. Can you please advise a substitute of AT205 resale? It's not available near me. It most certainly is. I buy mine by the case on Amazon. Certainly the Amazon guys can deliver to your house too. That's how I buy it. I used to buy it locally, but I found out I could buy it by the case a lot cheaper online than I could ever get it locally. I just got a case last week shipped in. I use it all the time. It's the best thing. There's nothing else out there that rejuvenates rubber seals like that. They don't pay me a penny to say that. It actually works. And I've tried bars. I've tried Lucas. I've tried lots of them. It's the only one that actually has the best chance of keeping an oil seal from leaking. That if it's old, it can rejuvenate it. It's a polymer oil, so it mixes with anything. Go to Amazon. Buy it there like I do. And Fear says, my one Civic has rattles at 300,000 miles. Lots of laughs. It just keeps going to make sure you change the oil and don't let Japanese motors run low. Yeah, you got a real point there. You got 300,000 miles on a Civic. I had one the other day. I had 500,000 miles on it. It was still running strong. And strangely enough, that particular one was an automatic transmission. So if you do take care of them and baby them, even the Honda automatic transmissions of back then were decent enough to last that long. They're solid built engines. And of course, like any small engine, don't abuse it and and if you like long life don't buy a one one and a half liter turbocharged gdi engine it's going to go faster it can also wear out a lot faster too andrew way said hey scotty what do you think about buying a used 2018 grand cherokee with 50,000 miles heard the revived penstar engine fixed the tick of earlier models only plan to keep it for five years 
All right, it's got 50,000 miles on it now. You're only planning on keeping it for five years. So go right ahead if you can get it cheap enough. They're not great vehicles, but it's not much miles. And if you're not going to drive that many miles in five years, go ahead. If you can get it cheap enough, don't pay much. They're not worth anything. Everybody knows Fiat and Chrysler products are garbage. Don't pay a lot of money. But with 50,000 miles, if you can get it cheap enough and you like the way it looks, go ahead. Just realize if you live in hot Texas like me, the air conditioning is going to break soon. You're going to have to pay a bunch of money fixing that because they always break on those things. Around that mileage or a little bit further down the line. Felipe Sanchez says, Honda CRV. 2008. My D light is flashing green. Okay. When your D light is flashing, that means that your computer has stored a transmission trouble code. So you need a mechanic like me with a good scan tool, a high level one, and it will analyze what that code is. It means it thinks it sounds something wrong with the transmission. You can't guess at all. You have to get a scan tool that can read it and then do a little testing. From my experience with those, a lot of times it's the torque lock up. Don't always go bad. They're on the outside of the transmission, you just bolt them off, bolt them on. But you need the code. So find a guy like me to get you the code first. Now your one says, Scotty, I got an 09 Toyota Rev 4. It's been vandalized, damaged, fuse boxes, cut wires to computer. Any idea what Toyota would charge to repair a ballpark? One, I hope you have full coverage because if you don't, you never want to go to a Toyota dealer. It will cost you thousands and thousands and thousands. If you don't have coverage, find one in a junkyard. It's probably a few in a junkyard. Buy junkyard parts and splice them in because if you have to buy those parts, even at a Toyota dealer new, even if you fix it yourself, it's going to cost you a fortune in parts. But there's plenty of them in junkyards that have been wrecked, flooded, stolen. You can get wiring, harness, circuit boards, all that stuff. Buy it used and fix it that way because... With damage like that, it's a fortune. But if you do have full coverage, just let the Toyota dealer just don't pay it out of your own pocket. If that's the case, find a guy like me. Find a used one in a junkyard that you can get parts off. Baby Draco says, hey, Scotty, what's better? 06 Acura TL or an 03 Acura RSX Type S with a 2005 Type S engine? Depends on what you're going to do. You want to race around? The RXS would be a lot more fun. It's a lot faster. You want something that's going to last longer with less problems? Get the TL. That's your choice, not mine. They're both excellent vehicles, but if you're buying a used race car, usually the guys who buy race cars race the heck out of them and they're worn out pieces of junk. So if you do look at that RSX, have a guy like me check it out first. Vols Equipment Road Test and he'll tell you whether it was taken care of or whether it's a money pit and buy the other one. But if you just want plain, reliable, fun car to drive, get the TL. They're well-made vehicles too. They're just not as fast. Nick D says, Scotty, my 99 Jeep Cherokee AC is giving us problems. We replaced the Freon low pressure switch, but it's still not working right. Any suggestions? That thing's what? 21 years old. It is is old as the hills. There's so many things that can go wrong with an AC system, but I know Jeeps. Odds are the compressor's just flat wearing out. They wear out over time. They only last so long. They lose their efficiency. Put a new compressor on it. Not a rebuilt pile of crap. A brand new one. And a dryer and an expansion valve and pray that there's nothing else wrong. But knowing those, if it's still got the original compressor, change that first because as they get old, they become less efficient and the hotter it gets, the less efficient compressor gets worse and worse and worse. Like every degree over 90 degrees, you lose 10% of your efficiency in AC system, even with a new one. So if it's 97 outside and you got a 21 year old compressor, odds are it's not gonna work that good anymore. Squigwark said, hey Scotty, was there ever such a thing as a good Chrysler? Well, there was, but that was a long time ago because my grandfather was a mechanic too and he said he hated Chrysler's there were piles of crap but that was you know in the 1950s and 60s maybe in the 30s and 40s they were I don't know I don't go back that far but they certainly haven't been for quite some time and with Fiat taking them over years ago they're even worse than they were two wrongs don't make a right and if they ever do get a merger going with Peugeot they would make three wrongs more wrong <laughs> Mamul Multani says, is a manual Nissan 300ZX a good car? It was a fantastic car when it was brand new, but they haven't made the 300ZXs in a long time, so it's going to be old as the hills, and it might be worn out. People buy sports cars, what do they do? They rag the heck out of them. So used ones often are worn, and it's going to be old, 20, 30 years old. A lot of things can go wrong. Don't pay much for one if you're thinking of buying a used one. Now, if you want to buy a car to kind of bring back as a weekend toy, have fun. Don't pay much because they made hundreds of thousands of them. It's not like there aren't any out there. There's tons of them out there. And you can play around with it, but don't pay too much money because they'll never really be collector's items. They made too many of them. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.